So yesterday when we went and toured the old church that sat on top of the old slave market, the guy told us that we could come back for a Swahili service this morning at 9.30. So we're gonna go check it out. We won't be able to understand anything, but it should be fun. <laughs> just left church. We made it for about an hour. Lots of speaking in I assume Swahili and singing. We didn't understand a single word and we were the only white people in the entire church. It was awesome. My favorite part was about halfway through. Everyone turned around really quickly and started shaking everyone's hand and I think people were really excited to shake it. <laughs> Everybody's coming up to us. It was great. That's fun. And now we're still going. Yeah, we heard African church can last a long time, so after an hour of not being able to understand things, it gets a little little monotonous. And now we're going to find a local market. I don't think it's like food stall local market, I think it's like local local market. gonna make it? I don't know. <laughs> a blend of finely toasted coffee mixed with sugar, a strong wake-up drink designed to keep you ready for the day challenge. Entirely organic. <laughs> to get that smell out of your nose. In a really weird way that made me hungry. <laughs> that is weird. I think that was called the Dara Johnny Market. I don't know, one of the best markets we've been to in a long time though. Our new friend explained to us that it translates to Creek Market. This big main road right here used to be a creek, so that just shows how long that market's been there. Because now it's a road. It was cool. All the meats, while disgusting, are super cool to see. Yeah. But make me want to be a vegetarian for the next week while we're here. <laughs> Tara, where are we going now? Ah! Indian food. Hello. Jumbo. Oh. Look at the menu, maybe. That's the menu. Yeah, let's look at the menu. Okay. Not bad view. This is definitely the fanciest looking Indian restaurant we've ever been in. Nothing like all the food stalls and hole in the wall places we've been. We have received a plate of a lot of things that we don't know what they are. They look yummy. Should I use my fork or just use this? I feel like you break off a piece of that and you eat it with that. I need to ask how we're supposed to eat it. Is that how you eat it? Yeah, and even that one and also when you do the basic bread, we ask for some directions. I'm still a little confused. I'm going to refrain from putting the fresh veggies on here because I just had food poisoning 
and you're really not supposed to have fresh veggies in places where you can't eat the water because they rinse it with the water. As much as I want to, I'm not ready for that again. So, I'm just going to take this. Whoa. Okay, so this reminds me of Trekking Ever Space Camp because this came with all of our meals. But this, what is this? It is so good. I won't judge if you try with the spoon. Tell me what it is. I don't know. I don't know, but I love it. It looks like the peel. I love some of the peel in here. It's like green. I definitely think it's a fruit. Maybe in tamarind sauce? I don't know. I love it. So we got three different naan. Chili cheese naan, garlic naan, and then some other cheese with onions that we've never had before. What do we get here? I have no idea. Punjabi? Is that what you think? Punjabi is what we think it is. Good so one. Chickpeas, onions, and tomatoes. It is so good. It's like the creamiest, curriest sauce. Yeah. This is the greatest. I like how much we enjoy Indian food, but we know nothing about it. <laughs> really good. Time to go. It is a beautiful day. So I think we need to get some ice cream. Can I try the cocoa and cardamom? Yeah, what is that? Whoa, that is interesting. I feel like that's the most local choice you can make right there. Whoa. That's crazy. Every day we change it. Flavor of the chocolate and peanuts always yeah. perfect. <laughs> oh, thank you. Can I get a scoop of the cocoa and cardamom? Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I got chocolate and peanut butter. It's delicious. So happy. That was a great idea. We have not tried all of the ice cream in Zanzibar. That's actually the first ice cream we've had in Zanzibar. But I can say with like 95% certainty that that is the best ice cream in Zanzibar. Yes. Homemade gelato at its finest for like a dollar a scoop. So on the vlog, it's gonna look like we just ate ice cream and now we're going to eat again. But there was like a little time in between. <laughs> we went back to the room, worked on our computers. I tried to like plan the rest of our time here in Zanzibar to like, a, it was a complete utter failure, but still working on that. Now we're going to eat again. We usually try to mix up like the food that we eat so the vlog's more interesting, but the Zanzibar pizza was just too good last night. We're getting the exact same thing. No, we're trying a new strategy. I'm gonna go with one savory pizza and two dessert pizzas because I'm not splitting my dessert pizza. With you. I'm not splitting my savory pizza. With you. We're getting four pizzas. <laughs> We've come back to Mr. Big Banana because we've decided he has the best Zanzibar pizza. Yes. And the biggest bananas. I think it's better than last night. No lie. We're gonna go take it to watch the people jumping off the ledge and eat. Do you have Mars bars tonight? Mars. <laughs> Dessert pizza number one. Dessert pizza number two. Somebody wouldn't share with me tonight. <laughs> 
Making friends? Hi, kitty kitty. This or ice cream? Oh, you can't do that. I don't know. Ice cream is like classic. Like I will never get sick of ice cream. I can eat it every day. I think this is like a little heavy. And if I, if I ate it every day, I would feel super bad. I don't think I could do it. So like if I had to choose one for the rest of my life, it would be ice cream. But today, I like this better. Well, once again, we are walking back down dark alleyways. I've developed a strategy for this though. I take the camera off of the tripod, which is made of like lots of metal, and it has a really sharp thing at the end. I feel like I could really fend some people off with this if it came to it. <laughs> Let me add that we have felt so safe here. Every single person you walk by also says hello, even if they don't want you to buy anything. Like they just feel like jumbo. So We've heard it safe. I would prefer to have this heavy stick with me anytime I'm walking down dark alleys anywhere in the world. <laughs> it's not a knock on Zanzibar. Yeah. But it's just all dark alleys. Like and this there's one. There's a lot of them. There's three guys. Ah! 